so we have already discussed about all seven c's in previous videos let us see another uh, tactics other tactics by having the courage to step out clarifying your message setting up your home base with your channel uploading quality content nurturing and building your community beginning to monetize and staying consistent you lay a solid foundation for your success on youtube next we will reveal some of the tricks and techniques and ninja tactics to get you more views more subscribers and a big bigger income you have probably already started uh, coming up with uh, great content ideas but we will help you make the most of every opportunity so turn the page uh, to the next and uh, let's uh, dive into that uh, let us see about the social media impact of social media to grow our uh, youtube channel so how to leverage your message and brand uh in social media to get success what is your favorite era of music we were born in the 1980s and at the time bands like uh, different bands uh top the charts how did these groups first get noticed in the days before and internet through gorilla viral or grassroots marketing they collected names of fazinas they guided posters all over town and distributed flyers to potential fans hip hop artists sold tapes from the trunks of their cars so before internet we used to do this uh, even after internet uh, in remote places where there is no internet still the marketing uh, strategies are uh, flyers uh, and other stuff physical material where there is no digital marketing available but uh, now we have social media i mean everywhere almost uh, excluding some remote places that we have internet access for most of the um areas in any every country so globally we have internet uh, most mostly we have internet access for every corner of the world so now over 30 years later promotional tactics within the music industry have not changed much but we no longer see as many mu music promoters walking the streets so let us see increasing your influence through social media how to do it when we first so and how to understand understanding user behavior so social media actually it goes to show that social media sometimes influence your youtube success more than the best practices on the platform itself because the exterior influ influence hacks the algorithm if you develop the influence to send people from social media to youtube the algorithm will love you for it so not only a grabbing uh, uh, um, attention from social media the you from your perspective but youtube youtube algorithm also understands if any uh, any social media influence is there if it is there uh, it will promote uh, to the more viewers understanding user behavior how many times a day do you pull out your phone and check notifications on your favorite social media platforms an article in the time, time magazine revealed that americans collectively check their smartphones upwards 
of 8 billion times per day and cons conservatively 50% of the time is spent on social media platforms clearly social media has won the attention of people around the world therefore a video influencers as a uh, video influencers we must strategically create relevant content to reach people where they are if you are not involved regularly on social media platforms you are missing out and so is your youtube channel choosing the best platform for your content if you know your target audience that will tell you exactly which social media platform or platforms you need to spend time on once you know where they hang out you have to figure out how to create compelling relevant and engaging content on the appropriate platforms let's look at some examples if your target audience is largely business and corporate professionals then you should heavily focus on creating content for linkedin as well as writing relevant industry content on websites like medium.com if your target young demographic then snapchat or musical musical dot might be relevant for you if you know your audience is predominantly female and interested in things like cooking do you do it yourself fashion or style then pinterest should be a focus a few platforms especially facebook instagram and twitter are relevant for a wide variety of people across a broad broad demographic most audiences use the is platforms so they provide opportunity for just about every channel don't neglect them whatever your channel niche happens to be when you are just starting out think about which platforms you are already used to connect people with if you are creating a channel around a passion of yours then you must you most likely already follow influencers on specific social media platforms if those people can grow an audience on the platforms so you can you use your existing engagement as a starting point to build your audience often your target audience is made up of people just like you people who share the same interests that's why the social media platforms you already use can be a great starting place if you are unsure how to build your audience pick the social media social platform you are most passionate about and start engaging people with quality content related to your channel and this is easier than ever because all social media has shifted towards video even instagram which started a photo only now allows you to upload videos live stream and share additional video content through instagram stories uh, mark zuckerberg has announced that facebook will be mostly video content by 2019 studies have shown that whole internet uh, will be 80% video by then as well these developments are great for youtube channels and you can already begin to take advantage of this shift since you are creating a video content on youtube you are perfectly positioned to create video content for all of the social media platforms of the same time learn how to tell your story and make it relevant for your platform one big mistake many creators make is to create videos of your videos for you youtube and then simply upload the same exact video on every social media platform although that might be better than nothing typically it doesn't do nearly as much as creating unique and different content for facebook instagram and linkedin or even getting deeply involved with the community or on reddit if it's right for your niche never forget each social media have platform is unique you cannot approach them all the same way it's like the dress code at restaurants the way you dress at four star restaurants restaurant differs 
from how you dress at a fast food place they offer different dining experiences and it's important to know that going in living on the west coast we have access to our favorite fast food place in an out burger if you have never been there be highly recommended they have a simple menu of great burgers and fries made with natural ingredients however when you go it's important to remember that the dress code at in and out is relaxed and casual flip flop shorts and tank top or just fine social media is similar know the dress code of weather platform you are attending to use snapchat is best suited for behind the scenes raw video footage it can be shaky and unpolished snapchat is like in an out burger youtube on the other hand allows you to upload much nicer content wide screen video at 1080 pixels or more and good video you won't find that on snapchat this same goes with our static images instagram work, works best with uh, square images while facebook and twitter prefer rectangular images find out the ideal image resolution length of videos and whether text audio video pictures or a combination works best don't be afraid to experiment and see what kind of posts get the most attention and engagement the future of social media how it is going to be let us see where the various social media platforms headed as we already mentioned it's obvious they are embracing video but why are they shifting in that direction the answer seems clear advertising with video makes a much more powerful impact than any other type of ad you probably noticed that when youtube moved from static ads to streaming ads they gain more attention from viewers and make a stronger impact that's why other platforms are be beginning to embrace the same thing video creates monetization opportunities on social media so it's another potential revenue generator here is what we recommend you to first just like this pick two social media platforms developing consistency when multitasking on social media can be incredibly challenging so learn the ropes and ease it ease into it pick the platforms that are mostly complementary for you your niche and your target audience second we recommend blocking some time on your calendar to research and experiment with the two social media platforms you have chosen 30 minutes for each platform should be enough try some google searches like best practices for instagram or how to use instagram for business you will amazed at the tips and the content you will find the reason we are recommending a google search rather than offering uh, specific tactics is because specific social media tactics change constantly you need to stay on top of the latest changes to platform strategies spending just 30 minutes to study and learn about each platform might not seem like much but it it will place you in the top 10% percent, percent of experts on those platforms the fact on the matter is few people take the time to really learn how social media works and if you are keep keep up with the constant changes and newest strategies do this and you will be well ahead of the curve third after you have spent some time studying and practicing on your chosen platforms create a simple co- content strategy for how you intend to make the most of them it should be simple enough that you could sketch it on a cocktail napkin as an example this is social media strategy i will post on instagram at least once a, once per day eventually growing 
to two or three posts a day. These posts will be eighty percent business related and twenty percent personal. That's it. You can create a more complex and detailed strategy if you wish, but don't hesitate to start very simple. Take action and then adapt as you go. Always utilize hashtags for every post. This involves your posts in ongoing conversations, which helps people find your content. Plus, it helps you to find potential viewers. Click on a hashtag, and you will see a list of other posts and pages that you can engage with. Reply to their posts, comment, and start conversations. This this works on Twitter. It works on Instagram. In fact, you can do this anywhere you find a hashtag. Even YouTube ha- has a hashtag function now. The hashtag is one of the easiest ways to find specific group groups, audiences, and niches, and one of the easiest ways to pe- for people to find you. Frequently visit your uh, other influencers' comments to engage with their audience. One of the best ways to find the tribes you want is by looking at the types of influencers who you are, who are like you. For value-added engagement, respond to comments, interact with their viewers, and answer questions. Ask yourself what value you add for others. Do you contribute to conversations? in meaningful ways do you utilize the value you create to build relationships gain attention for yourself and lead them to your channel so you have to ask these questions to yourself social media power tip one power tip we can see that uh, utilize live video on social media right now instagram facebook and youtube are all actively promoting live broad- broadcasts so it's a good idea to ride a wave on facebook the algorithm favors live video on instagram a small red banner appears over a user's avatar to let people know when someone goes live naturally because you are on live there's a great chance of engagement with viewers and when the youtube algorithm sees a high amount of engagement it will move that video higher in search results smart influencers use social media to grow and diversify their influence across multiple social me- media platforms so that is how the social media plays a vital role in growing your youtube channel so leverage this message and brand yourself on social media to grow